here we are. We're in the finishing stage of this house. So our windscarding is all done. We just need to get it all painted. Our pot lights are all installed. Ceiling is finished paint. Our chandelier light is underneath this plastic right there. So we have it. Our island needs to be built, so we'll get on, we'll get into that in a minute. And then our countertop guys came in and installed our countertop. We got our backsplash going on there. That's an idea of what it will be like. We, the homeowners are still working on it. This sink is a pretty big one. It's pretty big and nice. And we have master painter Johnny here. Johnny, how are you doing? <laughs> and up here, all our pot lights are in, ceiling is done. This is our bathroom. It's getting there. So what we have to do now is install our vanity. So we got our vanity over here. We have to install it. We have a coat of paint on all the walls. So now we just gotta paint the doors. Get these doors in their place. Floors are all done. So yeah, it's coming together. Okay, let's let's put the finishing touches on this house. Oh, we got a washer and dryer here. It's a fancy one. Tell me people, do you prefer top loaders or front loaders? Which one is the better ones? Or which one do you prefer? I personally, I like the front loader. What about you, Johnny? Yeah, as long as you wash my clothes, I don't want to bother. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have no preference. No preference, no my clothes clean. <laughs> All right, let's start putting the finishing touches to finish off this house. Got two cabinets here. They are they are 24 by 24. So let's take two of them, put them together, and let's make an island.
This comes off. <laughs> You guys wondering what color does white paint in the cabinet? No, this is just a plastic. Imagine. All right, the time has come. I gotta get a light right there. So I need a light directly over the island. But I couldn't install the box until the island was installed. So now that the island is here, let's cut out for our light. And I gotta go back in the attic. I'm not looking forward to that. Because the wire is up there and I need the wire. All right, let's get this light sent over our island and go find our wire. This is the old school method. No laser. This is the old school method. Let's go up to the attic and find our pole. Find our pole and find our wire. And then we can put it in this seal box. Screw it in. And voila, we have a light. If it was only that simple. All right, let's go up to the attic. Here we go. Okay, I can see our pole just over there. So, our pole is over there, so it's not that far. Okay, let me climb in there and find our wire, put our box in and get out of here. So I was about to grab the backsplash and I was standing back looking at it. For some reason, it didn't look right. Well, this side from here to the countertop is higher than this side. The reason why we have an end piece here and I went to the bottom and over here, I took it from the bottom of the countertop. So, it sucks, but it's something I have to fix. So, I don't like it. Because when you stand back, or when you're here, this side is lower than this side. Alright, let's fix it, and let's start grouting. Let that be a lesson, kids. Fix your work, even when no one is looking. Even when you think nobody will see it. But you know it's not right, so you fix it. Because at the end of the day, our work is gonna outlast us. So, take a minute 
and fix your work. Okay, that's more like it. Let's get our bad splash grouted now. Now they're even on both sides. Beauty. All right, let's grow this thing. another project all wrapped up let's go inside let me take you guys inside to see what you look like here we are well when we first walked in here this used to be all closed in so pretty much we took this wall out took the ceiling wall out well the whole ceiling we took down and this is it, created an open concept. With the fridges, we used to have the wall, the wall ended right here. So we built this wall a little bit back into our living space, into our living room and create a bigger kitchen. This whole entire island is a couple of cabinets we bought from the big box though. And the countertop is a butcher block. I treated it three coats of the polyurethane. So, yep. This whole entire kitchen is from the big box though. Can you tell? I cannot tell a difference from that to an expensive kitchen. And here we have a nice backsplash. You know, I've never used that backsplash before until a homeowner recommended it. And I must say it's a really nice one. We carry the backsplash all the way up into the back of the range, the vent. The countertop is all quartz. It's a nice quartz countertop.
Our sink is full size. There are so many pieces. And it pulls out. Really nice. Oh, we also put a ledge here. And here we used to have a wall. That whole area here used to be a wall. We remove that and create the open concept. So you can entertain. You can stay in the dining room and talk to someone in the kitchen. Really nice. And this is our lone wall we built. Now, there used to be a wind in here when we came here. So we just took out the old one and put a new one in, a, a modern version. Same thing in the entrance, it used to be a wind squad in here. We also install new flows on the main flow and in the upper section. This stairs is existing. We just sanded it and stained it with a matching stain for the flow. Same thing with the handrail. We stained it the same color as the flow. Let's go up to the upstairs. So this space here, the master bedroom, it used to be two bedrooms here. This used to be the entrance for one bedroom and another entrance for the other bedroom. We removed it, create a big master door, a double door entrance and create a big master bedroom. And on the far wall we create a closet. So this used to be, in that area used to be a bedroom. And this area here used to be another bedroom. So now it's one big bedroom with his and her's closet. <laughs> yeah, I think the husband, that's his closet. So pretty much here we have built-in closets. So we just roughed in the, the frame and the homeowners is gonna organize it in whatever way they feel like. The amount of stuff we can put in this to organize it is endless. So they'll do that themselves. And into this space is our bathroom. Now this used to be a tiny 24 inch door so we made that bigger as well. So. First thing we redid the floors and give it that old school tile, but it's a modern touch. And we redid the back the shower. I like this vanity, that's pretty nice. All right, so, and on this side we have a bedroom. And, and on this side is another bedroom. But I think 
This is gonna be the playroom. That's a fun color. All right, so pretty much that's it. Another project all wrapped up. Oh, over here, our main closet. I think we can officially say we brought that house into a new era. Took it out of the 1900s and brought it into the new era. These guys are good, man. <laughs> All right. See you on the next one.